Good morning. We are officially on our way. Well, we're on our way to the airport. Where's your faces? Graham's just ringing the car park place. You got to ring just before you come to park the car in the airport. It is five to eight. Our flight's at ten a.m. But we're at Bristol, so it's generally a bit of a, obviously a lot smaller than the London airports. But yeah, great night's sleep. Absolutely freezing this morning. But yeah, running smoothly at the moment. Lots of repacking today, like toiletries and stuff, but it's been alright. At the roundabout, take the first exit onto North Side Road. Right, we're going to our gate. We've had security check-in, which was really stressful. Um, We've arrived, we've actually all been suited and booted. We've got like our snow suits. You basically get off the coach. The two kids are actually outside because we've got, I'll show you in a minute actually. But, um, we're in one of the fell houses. So we've got three beds in here. Look at the views. Like this is insane. Oh, yeah. It's insane. It's like triple glazed. Um, but yeah, this is one of the, it's basically the kids' room. Super cute, and then we've got the living area, and we've got a TV which I didn't expect to have. I don't know why. Well, guess what channel? And then the kids are there. They are. It's cute. What's this? Is this milk? Looks like it. A little station of stuff, and then it's our bedroom. How cute! It's just so. I don't know, it's weirdly minimalistic and simple but still super cosy because this whole place is just so warm and lovely. This must be a wardrobe. Okay, I haven't been in here yet. Oh, it's like a wet room. Eh, not bad. We do the job, it's a nice, nice little wet room. <laughs> oh, it's cosy. I think it's underfloor heating, it feels really warm. Just getting organised, putting a few, I'm basically just going to leave everything in because it's just all jumpers and leggings pretty much, tracksuit bottoms and stuff, um, loads of socks. But yeah, just getting a bit more organised, Violet's got hers in her room. Um, but I packed a couple of treaty things um, and we have survived. Little bottles of Prosecco. I packed two in Alistair's and two in Violet's and they have survived. So that was... There you go, I've just put them in a ziplock bag with some napkins around. So I've got a little, but this is, yeah, we've got a kettle. I did, this is extra bits that I brought. I did bring some caramel lattes as well for me. Um, but yeah, some treat stuff. <laughs> Off to the hotel. Oh. <laughs> Hi Lee. Comfortable. It's like a cushion. Why well, it's the only one that's kept her snowsuit on. You, you can wear them in the hotel, you don't have to. So we've just kind of gone normal, but she's just crazy. Can you just appreciate the sparkle? Look at the sparkle. Can you see it? Yeah. The light's glistening on it. This is proper Christmas. Where are the boys? Oh, they're over there. Obviously, mainly just traveling. They're two hours ahead as well, so 
yeah, we're pretty, pretty tired, but we had dinner. We having, because we're in one of the little houses, we have to go to the hotel for our full bill, full board menu. So it's kind of like buffet service, but the food was really, really good. Um, everyone seemed happy with the choices. There's not much, there's not as much variety, but it was perfect. Um, and yeah, and then the kids, we had our induction, introduction of the next few days of like the itinerary, what the plan is, timings and whatever. We're doing the, we're meeting Santa tomorrow basically, with a search for Santa. We're doing snowmobiling, sleigh rides. It's gonna be magical tomorrow. Um, our breakfast, you have like a breakfast time slot when you've got a, um, like a excursion as such. So we've got 7.30 to 8.15 to have our breakfast in the morning, which obviously two hours ahead. It's early, um, we're pretty knackered, so we're gonna obviously get to bed right now, even though, even though it's after 10, obviously it's only after eight normal time. Um, yeah, so another busy day ahead tomorrow. Our excursion starts at 8.30 in the morning. So yeah, I'll take you all along for that. Show you some snippets. It's gonna be bloody freezing. But the snowsuits and everything, like, oh my God, if we didn't have those, I don't know how we'd get through it. Um, the kids have been literally, since we got back from dinner, they we can just watch them play in the snow and they've just been loving it, all of them. So that's what they've been doing. But anyway, I will catch you all tomorrow. I need some sleep. And this is basically day one of our little Lapland mini break. <laughs>